You are looking at a live picture from our Roanoke Blacksburg Airport sky cam. Today's been pretty cloudy. We did have some mountain snow showers, a few rain showers, maybe even a few sleep pellets farther to the east, maybe even a couple of uh, snowflakes mixing in as well. But uh, overall, the trend has for, uh, been for us to dry things out here over the last couple of hours and even see a few breaks of sunshine. So as we close the book on January, as today, of course, is February the 1st, how much precipitation did we get in January? Well, below average numbers for most of us. The only area that had above normal precipitation was Danville, but Hot Springs, Lynchburg, Blacksburg and Roanoke all had actually below normal numbers. And keep in mind in 2018, 11 out of the 12 months had above normal precipitation. So this is a little bit of a trend that we maybe could see here over the next four, five, six months, maybe below normal numbers. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Uh, overall, today has been a day where again, uh, we're quiet now, but we did have some snow showers in the mountains, a light accumulation in some spots, a few rain showers farther east, but uh, the weekend for the most part is looking very dry and frankly, much warmer. Temperatures on Saturday 53 with more sun in the forecast. We're looking at high temperatures on Sunday 54. This low pressure system may throw a little more cloud cover in our direction as we head into Sunday, but Sunday does look to be dry. So future tracker showing overnight tonight. Skies will likely clear out. OK, tomorrow I do think that we're going to be partly sunny in the morning. I think we're mostly sunny heading into the afternoon. Now, as we head into Saturday night, we are going to see maybe a few more clouds towards the mountains farther east. I think you're mainly clear and then Sunday will be a day where we are partly cloudy. I do think that we are going to see just a little more cloud cover on Sunday. Nothing big, but nevertheless, Saturday will probably see a little more sun than Sunday by just a little bit. 34 right now in Lexington, 42 Roanoke. Look at that though, Lynchburg 32, 35 right now in Withville. Summer is uh, may actually return for a little bit as we head into next week. At least it's going to feel that way in comparison to the temperatures of late. We're going to have the jet stream going way up to the north, and as that happens, we're going to have more of a southerly flow. So temperatures are going to spike into the 50s and 60s here for the foreseeable future, and that's not only going to happen for us. Everybody's going to thaw out. Keep in mind the lowest wind chill in Minneapolis this past week, minus 55. We're looking at Monday's high there, 32. Des Moines, lowest wind chill minus 45. Monday, they're up to 45 above zero. Indianapolis, minus 37 was the lowest wind chill. They're looking at high temperatures on Monday, 56 degrees. So some areas are going to see a difference in temperature when wind chill versus highs over the next five to six days of close to 60 to 80 degrees, maybe even some areas close to 90 degrees. Wind chills were so low this week, but everybody's going to thaw out here soon. Some clouds lingering into tonight. Overnight lows for the most part in the 30s. A few folks towards the highlands will be in the 20s. Then for the day tomorrow, highs mainly in the low to mid 50s for us. It's going to be a mild day. It's going to be a nice day on uh, Groundhog Day. And then on Sunday, 54, partly sunny. Monday's dry during the day. Some showers possible Monday night, drying things out Tuesday. Then we're going to have another chance for at least a little bit of rain Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of next week. But even then, we're looking at temperatures Wednesday through Friday when we have the chance for some rain, 56 to 64 for daytime highs.